Yeah, and that's basically what we're all not doing, isn't it? No, we're, no one's doing it. No, we're not doing our jobs. Mm. We're sitting back waiting for these fuckhead corporation people uh, to, to, do, to do what we believe is their jobs, which is um, conduct, like, like be a government and, up, and, and, and respect our rights. Yeah. Well, no, that's not their job. Yeah. Your job is, is to enforce your rights. No one else's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Need to ins assert them and enforce them. Yeah, if you don't assert or enforce your rights, you have none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That makes perfect sense. So I'm going to study that. What was it, the, the Henry the First thing? The... Yeah, I love that charter. It may, I mean, it may have been rescinded. I don't know. I don't think so, though. But right. I know it was the precursor to the uh, to the Magna Carta. Right. So, because I've heard these dumb arguments before, people are like, "Oh, the Magna Carta has no force and effect because three years before that, uh, um, what's his face there? Who who's who's uh, King? Which which one was it signed the Charter? Uh, sorry, the Magna Carta. Um, uh, I'm not sure. Was that Henry the Third or William or one of those? It I was can't King John, right I think. King John. Oh, there, yeah, that, that was it, I think. Uh, apparently, three years before that, he had granted all the lands of England to the Pope. Oh, right. Right? Yeah. Well, sorry, but if you go back 100 years before that, uh, King Henry I had already, uh, had already legislated in the, uh, the, the Charter of Liberties. So it was not his, So King John had no authority to grant all those lands to the Pope. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to go for a tit for tat argument with people about who had what jurisdiction and authority, well, yeah, you can go a hundred years before that. And like you said, if something is not clear, then we can just assert, we can just declare what our understanding is and let them bring forth a rebuttal sort of thing. There you go. So now we're the ones operating on presumption. Yeah. And we're leaving it for them to dispute the presumption with facts or their own claim. Yeah. I love operating on presumptions. Yeah. Yeah. I'm presuming that uh, that you know that I know that you're full of fucking shit. <laughs> that's my presumption. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the 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 idea of the notice of understanding kind of comes in, I suppose, doesn't it? Well, that's more that's more of a contract. That's saying, no, no, no. If you want me to build a deck, this is how much money it's going to be. So whether you come and put a chain around my neck and force me to do it, or I just do it voluntarily, it's going to cost you the same amount of money. The only difference is I'm going to turn around and sue you for violating my human rights by actually harming me. Mm, yeah. So, and that's, uh, I think I told that story about my brother with the RCMP there or whatever, where he basically said, well, no, if you want me in the back of your cruiser, it's going to cost you a million bucks. And the guy said, well, no, I'm going to force you. I'm going to, I'm going to put you in the back of my cruiser. And that's when he said, well, he goes, I don't care how I wind up in the back of your cruiser, whether I do it voluntarily or whether you force me. If I wind up in the back of it, that just cost you a million bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So they didn't want him in the back of the cruiser anymore at that point. <laughs> I really like the one, you know, you were telling the story and they said, uh, how does a, a fine of $50 sign? And you said, it sounds like something I'm not going to pay. Yeah. I see. Yeah, it sounds like 50 bucks too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and this, th yeah, that was after nine criminal code charges. I've got all the paperwork in the world for here for that right now, and I wasn't even making the right arguments, but I was able to do a couple of the right things. Yeah. And now that I look back, the right things that I did was after every hearing, I swore out an affidavit of everything that happened in the hearing. Yeah. And filed it into the court record, so I was inadvertently making it a public record. Right. A court of public record. I see. So now they knew they were violating my human rights. Yeah, I see. So you actually, oh, I see. You wrote out the affidavit and went down to the court and put that in the record in the At pub. At the end of every day, I went home, I typed up a, a, my account of what happened. Yeah. And I, I went down to the courthouse in the morning. I had the clerk of the court notarize it and put it in the court record. And then I got a copy right back out, a certified copy back out. I and see. the judges now knew that everything they were doing was a matter of public record. Right. So they know they're not going to be able to get away with trampling over you because it's yeah. all on the record. Yeah. yeah. So nine criminal code, oh no, it was nine charges later, I think five of them were criminal code, four of them were traffic offenses or failure to appear for fingerprinting and other nonsense. Um, yeah, they ended up, uh, they, they, they found me, they convicted me, they found me guilty of the facts. Right. Right? And yeah, you're right, it's a fact, I didn't show up for fingerprinting. Yeah, you're right, I didn't show up <laughs> at court. Absolutely, that's a fact. My argument was I was under no obligation to. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I was sitting in this chair for the last hour. 
Yeah, you're right. I didn't see any law. I didn't see any proof that I wasn't supposed to be sitting in that chair for an hour. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. Right. So they found me guilty of the facts, and they were very explicit about that. And I tried to plead guilty to the facts for three days. I said, I'm ready to plead guilty to the facts right now. And what they said <laughs> is completely true. That doesn't remove the, the 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 problem here that I was under no obligation to do anything they were telling me to do. Yeah, yeah. So when they found me guilty of the facts. Which I said, yeah, okay, great. I offered to plead guilty to the facts for three days now. What's your point? Congratulations. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> and I'm clapping, and I'm being a smart ass, and I knew I wasn't scared of them at all. And they're like, well, you know, well, uh, we have to give you the minimum of a $50 fine or something like that. And I was just said, are you fucking serious? I said, I've got parking tickets worth more than that. You guys have wasted five years of my life over this? And then I, I think I even had a loony, a loony on me, a, a, do, a one dollar coin. I pulled it out and I said, you know what? I don't care if you ask me for a dollar, and I have a dollar with me. I'm still not paying it. <laughs> Are we done? Because I'm leaving. <laughs> and what actually happened? What was the upshot? I don't. I think they actually tried coming after me for the fifty bucks through a collection agent or something. I really, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> right. But the bottom line is, you didn't end up, you know, getting dragged into prison or something like mm -hmm. that. No, absolutely not. And the the minimum sentence they were looking for was two years. Oh right, they were they wanted to put you in prison. Oh yes, they did. And I've got I've got the original charges here where the crown was asking for uh, for uh, for up to two years. Oh, I see. So they're trying to put you in prison, and they just couldn't get a grip on you, basically. They couldn't get nothing, and they knew they were violating my human rights. They knew they had no contract, even though I was very sloppy with the way I did it. Now here's the great part: I've got recourse today. So now that I do know what's going on, I fully intend on going back. Yeah. And now I'm taking them into civil court. Hmm. Is that the Queen's Bench thing? That is Queen's Bench, where common law is supreme. Right. And I am going to rip them a new asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so you always have remedy. All you have to do is express the injury. You can go back as far as you want. Yeah. Especially if you've been convicted of something in the past and there was a fraud. Because you got to remember, their entire process is a fraud. Mm. You can go back and you can correct it, because it's never too late to correct a fraud, oh, I ever. See. Yeah. Wow. So there's 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 some monstrous power that people have here that people had better start learning. Yeah. Yeah. Because flash mobs and burning businesses to the ground are not their true power. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I agree with what you said because I, in a funny sort of way, I, I, I can understand those people's frustration, but they, they don't know. Like we've got a vocabulary to kind of to discuss these things, but the only thing they know how to do is just to smash stuff up and burn stuff. Yep. Um, but I can kind of relate. The, you know, they probably got the same frustration we do, just you know, in a different way, kind of thing. So I agree with what you say. If they knew how to move a court case or or sue somebody in Queen's Bench. Holy shit, you know? Oh, yeah the, yeah, the game would be over overnight. It's like uh, V for Vendetta. Time's a million. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, I think, I think maybe that's why, uh, why the message is, is getting broadcast so fast this time and why people are getting so interested because it, 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 it's simple. It really is this simple. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it makes perfect sense. The the way you, the, the, yeah, the big picture of what you've been describing makes crystal clear sense. Yeah, F people can fill in the details all they want. They can do their own research, but this is what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're free to make whatever choice you want about how you're going to uh, attack the problem. Yeah, yeah. Wow, nice. Very cool. I can't wait to get this online. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But oh, yeah. Please send me a link to it. Sometimes I like to hear, uh, I, I re-listen to my interviews to see if I made any mistakes. Sometimes I'll, I'll misquote something, or, or I'll say something where I, it sounds like I might have just like uh, kind of completely contradicted something I said 20 minutes ago. Yeah. So I like to go back to see if I've actually done that, so I can correct it sometimes. But yeah, yeah. We we get we get the the the, the main thrust though. Oh, by the way, I, I don't know if you've got time for. A, could I just ask a question? Oh, please, by all means. Uh, one of my friends was really getting his knickers in a twist over something you said <laughs> <laughs> regarding... Regard, he, he was saying, Dean Clifford's not right. He said that, you know, you've got the executor and then the trustee separately and the beneficiary, and he's got it wrong. And, you know, I, I don't really know. Um, it, like, do you have any comment regarding that? I do. Here's the thing. I'm trying to convert trust law into a simple form of corporate law. Right. So that people can get the concept 
in their head. Yeah. Plain and simple. Now, there's all sorts of different trust relationships. There's a billion type of trust relationships. A trust relationship is just whatever two people make a trust relationship to be, right? Right. So you, you could all, you, there's all sorts of different types of trust law. So I'm not trying to be like, no, this is the final word on the subject. Hmm. I'm trying to convert the, ex the, the idea of the express trust, which is what a legal person is, into terms people can understand, which is corporate law I always found was the easiest. That's what helped me, helped me break it down. And that was the, 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 the investor and then the directors of the corporation and then the employees. Right. So that was just for simplification purposes. If, 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 if the details of what I'm describing don't jive to certain people, then, like I said, fill in the details. Hmm. I'm just giving you the big picture. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and absolutely don't ever take anything I say as gospel. Please, go look it up. But if I'm wrong about any of the main points that I've made today, I would love to see it because it's just not possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bring it. <laughs> right. Oh, cool. Nice one, Dean. Oh. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate the opportunity to get out there and just because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just so tired of people doing nothing or trying to make over, overly complicated arguments. I want this stuff out there. And uh, you guys are the epicenter of this problem. You're right in the fucking city where this Crown Corporation was created. So, I mean, uh, the UK, Canada, and Australia are in a very good position because we're like, we're, we're sister nations. Mm, yeah. All our laws are almost completely identical, and we all have crown attorneys and crown, you know, all the, everything's called the crown is coming after us. Yeah. So everything that I'm talking about is completely, completely almost synonymous with what you can do in, in, uh, in Australia, uh, possibly even New Zealand, I believe, and definitely the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. It's perfect. I just love, uh, you know, I really love doing, you know, calls like this and then, you know, like an interview and putting it on YouTube because to me, I know that so many people are going to listen to it and then they're going to get inspired by it and go away and experiment and try things and they're going to come back and you know and tell stories about what worked or what happened or what didn't work is oh man yeah please tell me stories of, of, of and I've received some emails already of some stories where people did some some tactics like this and it worked perfectly just like I said it was going to but yeah never don't take my word as gospel on this I, I'm not fucking you know I'm not uh, Gandhi or nothing <laughs> go out and, and and work off of this stuff now and and, yeah. and find your own path but uh, um, but we we know like I say, based on the points I've given today, especially talking to you, and this just started out as a friendly chat that I guess is now going to go online, um, we, we know what's going on. Yeah. We know who's who. We know who we are. We know who they are. We know who Queen Elizabeth is. We know who these parties are and who they all represent and what they're all supposed to be doing. Yeah. So now let's act on that and start to make everything public and go after these people and hold them accountable. Yeah. Nice. Wicked. So... It's awesome. a big flashlight to shine on a fucking big shadow of bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, well, thanks for speaking to me today, Dean. That's awesome. It's all good. Give me a shout here on, uh, on uh, Skype anytime to, uh, if you got any more questions, you just like to chat about this stuff. It seems to have taken over my life instead of my construction career, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. So, so it's definitely all right if I upload this, yeah? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm probably, I don't think I've said anything that I have to worry about on here. So. No, I don't think so. That's no, I awesome. guess. If, so I guess if the independent city of London has a problem with it, then maybe they should change their business practice and do everything <laughs> fairly, like everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Like I always say, if they want to shoot me, whatever. I'm going to die one day, anyways. So. <laughs> yeah, I was quite refreshed when when I heard you say that because it's exactly the same type of thing I say all the time as well. It's like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're, what are they they're gonna do? They're they're gonna come and kidnap me and torture me, or just blow my head off uh, yeah. with a sniper rifle? Yeah. Okay. Either way, number one, if they blow my head off with a sniper rifle, I'm not gonna know about it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. number two, if they torture me, I don't give a fuck because they can only torture me so long in this life. Yeah. Okay. But if you don't do what you're supposed to be doing, and if you're not upholding God's law, you're gonna suffer for the rest of your fucking life after you die. Yeah. So pick it. Which one do you want? Do you want to suffer here for a, a short duration, or do you want to suffer for eternity? Yeah. And I, I, don't, I don't think that means you go to hell. I think that means that you come back as a lower form of life on this planet, like maybe a cop or a politician. <laughs> uh, nice. <laughs> awesome. <laughs>
Uh, okay, yeah, well, it's been good talking with you, uh, Ben. I gotta get going here. It's okay. uh, 6 o'clock p.m., and I'm kind of hungry where I live, so uh, it's just the start of your day, I think, is it? Or? Uh,